Gareth Williams, the intelligence officer whose body was found in a bag, a man described as a very private person. He spent 10 years living in this house in Cheltenham while working at GCHQ. Today his former landlady described hearing him cry for help at 1.30 one morning. She and her husband found him alone in his underwear, panicking and embarrassed, with his wrists tied to the bedstead. My husband said, what the bloody hell are you doing? And he said, I just wanted to see if I could get free. On August 23, 2010, police found Gareth Williams's body in the bathtub of his London flat near his new workplace at MI6. He was curled up inside the bag in a fetal position with the keys underneath him. But the bag was locked on the outside with police believing someone else was involved. Today the inquest also heard from the police officer in charge of liaising with the intelligence agencies. He said his inquiries had found no evidence that Gareth Williams's death was linked to his work. This afternoon, former colleagues from MI6 and GCHQ gave their evidence. His line manager said in hindsight he would have done more to try and establish why Gareth Williams missed a week of meetings and appointments before police were finally contacted. They gave their evidence behind a screen to protect their identity. Lawyers for his family also questioned why spies had not signed standard witness statements and whether computer material had been secured before police took possession. More evidence from former colleagues in GCHQ and MI6 is expected tomorrow as the inquest continues. Gordon Carrera, BBC News.